Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Mario the Thousand Year Door. I am Firezale, which is a name I haven't used in a very long time. That is an email that I won't be reading. And we are going to go try and find our way to Twilight Town. Now, I know exactly where the pipe is, so we're not going to waste too much time. But, um, I feel like I should also mention that I kind of want to do a couple things once we're done actually finding Twilight Town. I kind of want to get some new badges and show off a couple things that I got mentioned in, you know, in uh, different... You know, messages from people and who told me a lot of things that I actually didn't know about this game. So, let's, uh, first of all, the pipe is actually not this pipe, but the pipe right here. <laughs> this is the pipe to Twilight Town. Now, we should probably read this sign. To Twilight Town. Okay, I thought that was actually going to be something way more specific. Wait, what? The pipe rejected you? What? But that can't be right. Oh, that's so weird. Okay, I... Oh, wait, never mind. I remember what I'm supposed to do. Literally forgot for like a millisecond. Anyway, we actually need to go back to Frankly. Now that I have the Yo... Now that I have Yoshi, which is kind of more of a power-up now that I think about it, I treat him more like a power-up. Now that I have Yoshi, I should be... Or I should call him by his name that I've named him by. <clears throat> now that I have Axel, I should actually be able to move a lot faster, so I should I should be able to cut down a lot of tedium, which is good. Very good, in fact. I, it'll save me a whole bunch of time. I just hope it doesn't kill me in the process. But, well, let, I digress. Let us keep moving. Apparently, we need something to actually be able to go to Twilight Town. I don't know why. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have Shine Sprites. I have Shine Sprites, and I have not used them. I have Shine Sprites, and I have party members who need them used. Hello, Merlin. Uh, I guess Flurry is the only one I have, but oh, no, I'll get another star. I'll get another um, a Shine Sprite in the next chapter anyway, so I feel like we might, might as well power her up. There's no real reason not to. And I kind of need to anyway. Sazubidi. So sorry to take out a little bit of time from our current episode to do this, but it's okay. It's alright. Shut up and jam. Oh, that laugh. I feel like every time she laughs, that's what it sounds like. Just... Like classic anime laughter. Let's talk to Frankly. Oh my god, I have to use her voice. I don't remember her voice at all. This is bad. Frankly, we found the pipe you said would take us to the Twilight Town. But it doesn't work, darling. It just pushed us back out. Can't you do something? What? You can't get through the pipe, you say? How odd. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm having the foggiest idea of what you should do. I don't know, maybe we should find somebody from Twilight Town? Oh, of course! I heard that a fellow from Twilight Town lives here in Rogueport. If anybody knows how to get through the pipe, it'll be him. His name was, a uh, uh, dang, what was it? Uh, uh, yes, yes, uh, the lover of the dark, Darkly. Oh my god, Darkly is such a... Oh, it's such a dumb name. It's almost as bad as Dorkly. Oh, actually, Dorkly's pretty funny sometimes. Maybe not always, though, but he's funny. I've seen him loitering right here in the part of town in the past. Look for Dorkly. Okay, that should be easy. Also, I'm going to stop using Flurry forever now. Bye, Flurry. We'll never use you ever, ever, ever again, except for the time where I need to totally show off the new ability you have, but it's not going to be... Oh, wait, actually, I went the wrong way. Hee <laughs> hee. Dorkly should be right here this is a resident of twilight town these guys look cool to me i really like their design they're kind of like little green homeless bean people hey there my name is darkly do you guys need something yeah can we can, can you please tell us how to get to the pipe to twilight town because we have no idea we're kind of stuck actually huh you want to know how to get through the pipe to twilight town yes we do couldn't be easier. You just need to have something that that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everyone does. No, actually, we don't. Not, I don't think Mario even writes his name on his underwear. No? Really? Uh, okay, hang on. I'll, uh, write it for you. What's your name? Uh, Mario. <laughs> okay. I'll write it here. On the seat of your overalls. M-A- R-I-O, right? 
I feel like that's that voice is super smooth. Did he just walk through me? Did he just walk through me? Is he a ghost? Are these ghost people? I feel like I'm overreacting to that a little bit. There. Perfecta Mundo. While I'm at it, I'll write your partner's name too. What's your name? Axel, baby. I still like Axel, baby. Hey, what? Hey, watch where you're drawing, buddy. I totally could not read that for a second. The wavy lines kind of threw me off. I don't know what errand is taking you to Twilight Town, but I hope it goes well. I'll be rooting for you. I should really use that dark, airy voice more often. I like it. Maybe I'll decide to have another character with that voice sometime soon. I don't know. That's not foreshadowing or anything. I, I, I just don't know. Maybe, maybe I should just use all of them like that. I don't know. I feel like that, that classic villain voice, the Skeletor voice, will become a thing. I don't know, because I, I know what the next villain is going to be, but I don't know what I want it to be. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I wanted to go over some things before I went to Twilight Town. Anyway, okay, okay. Um, oh, geez. Okay, first things first, I kind of wanted to show off something with the bad shop. Because I completely didn't know about this until somebody actually told me about it in the comment section, which is why I kind of want to go over it. Because to me, it's a big deal. I don't know who, uh, I don't remember who actually told me it, but I might go through my comment section and figure out who it is and put maybe maybe put his name here somewhere. Maybe if I remember, which is very unlikely. I'm almost the most forgetful person on earth. Almost. Anyway, if we go back to the bad shop, there, sh there actually is something that I probably should have mentioned that I didn't. And I, I didn't know about it 100%, or maybe I, I, I don't know if I did or didn't, I can't remember. It's been a long time since I played this game. Okay, so these badges are actually just badges that are on sale. This guy actually sells you any badge that you actually want, but they're at regular price. Which is why I, I always thought like the special deals were actually like the more important ones. But you can buy a whole bunch of different badges here. Simplifier, Unsimplifier, FP Drain, Close Call, Ice Smash... Actually, maybe I should buy that. Hmm. Actually, maybe I should buy a lot of things. I kind of want to buy Piercing Blow, but I don't think I want to waste the money right now. I mean, money isn't really that big of an object in this game, but... Uh -huh. I don't really want to. I just don't feel like it. Anyway, I just wanted to show that off before I went into the uh, into Twilight Town. Because, I, again, I feel like I kind of owe it to the guy... I don't remember. I'm sorry that I don't remember your name. I'm so sorry. It's been like half a year. And no, I'm amazed I remembered to do this at all, honestly. But uh, yeah, I, I just kind of wanted to go over that. I did not get enough momentum. God dang it. Okay, so I'm going to have to go back through there. It's, it's fine. It's fine. No need to be in a rush. We're not really doing anything that major right now. We're just starting a whole new chapter. And one of my more in one of the chapters I find to be more interesting than the rest, just because of the theme. Just the, the theme of it is really cool. It reminds me of Halloween Town, if that makes you'll you'll see you, you'll see. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chapter Four <laughs> for pigs. The bell tolls. That'll make more sex. <laughs> That'll make more sense. That'll make more sense in context. Oh my god, my tongue is slipping today. Okay, okay, that was really dumb. But let's just go. Anyway, look at this place. Look at how, look at its dark, decrepit tone. Look at its paper pigs. Why does that pig have red eyes? That's kind of creepy. Ugh, this place gave me the creeps. Is this Twilight Town? Actually, this this area has a little bit of a thing that I find annoying, but also I find the theme... Like I said, the theme itself is what I really like here. Hey. It's been a long time since anyone came from outside. You've come from far away? Yes, we have. Yeah, those clothes are yours. I'm pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? This is a bad time to arrive. Wait, but you're adventurers. Maybe it's the perfect time. You're being really foreboding. Wait. What? A bad time? What do you mean by that? Come on, tell me. 
Oh, gee whiz. I don't know. It's a scary tale to hear, and a scary tale to tell, too. Uh-oh, what? That bell. Oh, no. The bell rang again. Oh, this is so awful. Who could it be now? Oh, no. Oink, oink, oink. That's not at all synced at all. Whoa, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. What's going on in this weirdo town? Oh, my God, if I keep doing that voice, it's going to murder me. Oh my god, my throat hurts so bad, I should probably have gotten some water. Oh, I don't actually know what kind of character this is. Oh, badness. Now poor Freddy got turned into a pig. Oh, good. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a woman. No, it's an old man! I should probably do an old man voice! Who are you, Gramps? I'm the mayor of this poor town. Call me Dowler. I'm not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe you're adventurers, right? This isn't the place for the telling of tales, sadly. Come. Come to my home. Okay, sir, you have a... Do you know that there is stuffing coming out of your brains? Okay, I still have plenty of time to continue on. This might be my last episode for the night. I feel like I've gotten a lot done. My traveling friends, welcome to the Twilight Town. Well, I'd like to welcome you, but welcoming people is generally a good thing, and it's nothing but bad here. As you may have guessed, our town has been cursed. I don't know why I'm doing this voice for him, I just feels appropriate for some reason. Well, cursed? Yes, cursed. That is the right word, right? Yes, of course it is. You see, beyond town is a forest, and in its heart is an ancient building. The creepy steeple. The dark creature who lives there. Its curse ordains that when the steeple bell rings, one of the Twilighters living here in the village becomes a pig. That... is really weird. Will my loved ones become swine? Will I, too, become a curly-tailed oinker? I'm so worried I can't sleep at night. Of course, night and day are Pretty similar here. If this keeps up, well, the village will be one giant pig pen, which would be bad. Let me give you some advice. Leave us. Leave before you two get pigified. Not gonna happen, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. Maybe you've heard of it? It's a star-shaped rock called the Crystal Star. Uh, I don't know any about any crystal star thing, but in Creepy Steeple, there's a glittery red stone shaped like a star. That's probably it. Whoa, you're serious? That's gotta be the crystal star. It's gotta be. Yeah, e exactly what I said. It's kind of reiterating a couple things that I'm saying. Unintentionally, mostly. Uh, you people. You aren't thinking of going to Creepy Steeple, are you? I should probably be. <laughs> Unthinkable. Unthinkable. <laughs> that voice is gonna be a stupid thing. I'm gonna do a lot. Okay, so let's see if I can remember right. Okay, I feel like I can't talk to you for some reason. I know that there's something, and there we go. Okay, so here's another star piece. One of the very lovely star pieces that I've gotten today. And let's go into other areas. Maybe we'll find something else. I can't remember where everything is. No, there's nothing here. I don't think. Maybe there is? I don't know. I can't remember if there's something here or not. Living in this dark place. It's so depressing, you know? Oh my god, my throat is literally getting too sore for that airy tone that these guys have. <clears throat> I don't really care if I turn into a pig or not. Okay, that was easy. Anyway, there's a lot of pigs, as you can clearly tell. Will it feel weird to turn into a pig? Do pigs feel stuff? I'm not looking forward to this. Well, I mean, I don't know why you'd look forward to being a pig. No, there's something I can do. Come on. <laughs> I know I'm forgetting it, but I'll find it eventually. Anyway, I don't really need to. There's a thing that I should really show off that I'm not going to probably until a little while later. There's a, um... I actually ended up getting it in this part of the game, if I remember right, last time. But there's actually a... I don't, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it. Come on, I know there has to be something here. It has to be. I know I'm not crazy. 
Well, okay, actually, I am crazy, but you know, that does not factor into my into my state of being currently. Is there something behind the tree? Maybe here? I can't. I know there's something. I swear. I cannot. I cannot be forgetting. Okay, maybe it's in. Oh wait, maybe it's in one of these. Okay, I'm sorry that I'm. I'm I just haven't played this level in so, such a long time. It's weird that I remember the, the uh, level after this and the one after that way more than I remember this one. But I really like this episode. I think this is the tree I'm thinking of. Nope. I guess I'm just crazy. There it is! Jeez, I knew there was another star piece. Alright, perfect. Let's see... Hmm... I'm just gonna search for laughs. Because, you know, coins are fun. There's gotta be another one. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna check my, uh, my count real quick. Give me a second. Hmm. Oh, maybe I should just go to the east side of town. They're, I'm probably thinking of a different area. Yeah, I'm thinking of a different area. Okay, so I think there is something here. Something. No. I guess I'm crazy. Or I'm just forgetful. Probably the latter more than the former. But come on, it's gotta be here, right? I know I'm not crazy. Okay, wait, wait, you know what? Oh, there it is. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> I found that unintentionally, but I found it kind of perfectly. I'm fairly sure that's everything that's important here. And everything else should be on the Twilight Trail. I want to do something really fast, though. I kind of have been neglecting items. Never mind, can't do anything. Nothing I can do. Sucks to be me. Well, let's get going. A nasty monster lives in the woods past here. I'm serious. That's what somebody said. Why is there always a gatekeeper? If you still want to go through, even after hearing that, you need the mayor's permission. Oh man, the old monster beyond the town gate thing? Isn't that kind of cliched? You gotta be kidding me. Huh, fine, let's go ask. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, it was already a theme from the la from the very first part, so... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Well, the bell rang, Mario. Does that mean someone's gonna... Boy, I'm psyched it wasn't me turned into a pig. But I have a bad feeling like that's going to be really screwing us over. Oh, no. Well, this ain't good. Do you think this pig is the mayor? What are we going to do now? We need that dude's okay to pass through the gate. Oh, boy. I don't actually remember what I'm supposed to do here. Oh boy, this is bad. This is very bad. This is very, very bad. I'm... Okay, let me just go talk to the guy. Maybe he'll just be a kind guy and he'll know that the mayor is the pig now and uh, uh, everything will be alright. Uh, maybe. What? The mayor is a pig? Oh no, what do we do? Govern ourselves? Well, I mean, that kind of seems fine, actually. Well, there's just no way I can let you through now. It's martial law time. Just forget about it. Um, um, well, mm -hmm. mm. I don't know what to do, I don't, I don't know what to do, well, I'm stuck, why can't I talk to this girl, I'm sorry, why not open right now? What, what's wrong, ma'am? <laughs> Why am I crying? <laughs> My husband's been turned into a pig. A pig? <laughs> My husband went to the woods yesterday to collect herbs. But no husband came home. Instead, a pig returned. This pig. We got in a fight before he left, and I had called him a Chavantist pig. And now, he really is a pig. Oh my god, it's one of those, it's one of those that I can't, I'm not doing this one, it's, she's just talking a lot, I'm sorry. Okay, what, whatever, I guess I'm, I guess I'm just gonna, I guess I'll maybe leave it off here. After this part, actually.
I mean, yeah, we could probably try and find some way to restore your husband to normal. Oh, that'd be really convenient. But, but we don't have any way to open the storeroom. Well, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Anyway, I guess I'm going to leave it off here. So, guys, I'll... Um, Hopefully we can figure out what to do, because I'm honestly completely lost. I can't believe I forgot. This is actually a little bit embarrassing. I'm really sorry. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys in the next one for things to come. See you later, everybody.